This was me at 16. This was me at 17. 18, 19, and this is me at 20. As much as I look back on all these past versions of myself and cringe immensely, especially at the um, <laughs> e-girl phase, yeah, let's not talk about that. I don't regret any of them because for one thing, they were stepping stones towards the version of myself that I am now, which I love. Also because they were just such defining chapters of my life. Like obviously it's not like my style decided what I was like that year or what my hobbies were or what experiences I had, but it just like neatly organizes my memories into specific chapters. Like when I look back at photos of my outfits and my long blonde hair from when I was 16, then my brain just like instantly floods with memories of staying at my sister's student house in Manchester and doing yoga and practicing ukulele every night and like reading poetry books in cafes. When I look back at my 17 year old e-girl phase, I think about my first boyfriend and what a shitty experience that was. Not quite as fun, but the point is that they were equally important times in my life because they were so different. Like if I had just stayed as one version of myself my whole life, then all my memories would just blur into one and how boring would that be? Like I used to see it as a flaw that I had so many different like areas of my style and how I just completely changed myself like once a week. Like I thought the reason I did that was because I just didn't know who I was. When actually I feel like maybe life is supposed to be like that. Like maybe it's all just supposed to be one big identity crisis. And so this is the guide to reinventing yourself for 2023. Step one, this one might be a painful one and that is looking back at all the different past versions of yourself. Start with the parts of your current self that you like, but then look back at all the different past versions and think about the different aspects that you wanna like reintegrate into this next version. Like, are there any hobbies that you used to do that you stopped because you didn't have time for them anymore? Or parts of your like style or appearance that you wanna bring back? Or hobbies or traits or habits or literally anything? Just instead of starting with like a completely blank canvas, which I mean, you can do if you want to just like completely start over, you do you. But for most people, that's probably quite overwhelming. So it's nice to keep a little bit of familiarity. So for me, like I loved my hair when I was 19 and my hobbies from when I was 16 and everything else can go in the bin. Step two is to make a Pinterest board or you could make like a real life vision board type thing and like cut things out of magazines and stuff. But Pinterest is obviously the easiest and fastest way to go in my opinion. And this isn't even meant to be like a huge thing. Like don't spend too much time on this because you can add to it and change it over time. But you just kind of want to like shove all of your initial ideas into one place so that you have like a reference point that you can like keep coming back to. Slightly future Eden here to show you a little tour of my vision board for 2023. This is it. So I have it set as my lock screen and my home screen so I see it every single day. So obviously if you make a vision board and then never look at it again, then you're not gonna get very far with it. So my favorite thing to do is set it as my lock screen, but you could even just like print it out and have it on your wall somewhere, just somewhere that you'll definitely see it all the time. So it's always like subconsciously going into your head, you know? So anyway, I need to do this really quickly because I need to leave for uni in like 45 minutes and I've got some chicken nuggets in the oven right now. So speed your run through. In the top left hand corner, we've got like the relationship kind of vibes. I am currently actually dating someone. Never thought I'd see the day. Not officially because he's taking his time to ask me to be his girlfriend, but it's fine. And then next to that, we have got the apartment vibes because I've officially secured my flat for next year. So I am officially moving to Leeds on the 2nd of September and I'm so freaking excited. So I've got a couple pictures of just like the vibes of like living alone, but then I've also got some of like friend group hanging out in the apartment kind of vibes because I don't actually have like an actual friend group at uni yet, like I'm kind of just friends with everyone, which I like, but might actually have a friend group by next year, you never know. And then in the middle, the sort of like focal point of my thing is like YouTube and TikTok, kind of subscribers, followers, all that good stuff, because kind of let go of that for a while, because obviously I didn't post for like four months, let's just not ignore the elephant in the room. The reason for that, by the way, was literally just because I, right, no, let's talk about this for a second. Since like starting my channel, I feel like I haven't actually known entirely what I wanted to do with it because obviously I started as like a university channel and then after a while I kind of got bored of making university videos and so I kind of started to transition into fashion or whatever the hell I did after that and then obviously like dropped out of university and started making other stuff and then got bored of that and then started making other stuff and it was kind of just a mess and so I would kind of just like stop and start posting all the time because I didn't know what I wanted to do with my channel and I still don't but this kind of fits with the whole point of what I'm trying to say out of this video and like the series as a whole which is that 
I don't need to decide exactly what I want to do. I don't need to decide one type of content that I'm going to make because my solution to this entire problem, and I had like an absolute breakthrough like a couple of weeks ago and I literally, I'm so excited about it because I've just figured out, I've cracked the code. And that is to make like little mini series like this. So obviously this one is about like reinventing yourself, kind of like self-improvement kind of vibes, but then like a month from now when the series finishes, I'll probably be sick of making that type of video. And so I'll start a new mini series in like a month or two that'll be about something entirely different. And so that way I can like make videos about all the different things that I'm interested in, but I don't have to like commit to one thing specifically because it's all just organized into neat little sections. So that is my current YouTube philosophy, if anyone cares. Let me know if you have any ideas for mini series that you wanna see. Anyway, God, my chicken nuggets are literally gonna be done in two minutes, right? I don't have time for this. In the top right hand corner, that was embarrassing. We have got like money, could do with some of that. Cause right now I kind of am very like reliant on my student loan. And so I would just love to, you know, actually make enough money to not have to rely on that. As well as like getting ready for like events and stuff like that. I don't know, this all kind of goes into like the social media kind of portion. Cause it's all just wanting to like completely just do social media as much as possible this year and like grow as much as possible this year. It's 11 11 make a wish. Okay one minute I need to go get my chicken nugget. So underneath that right this is actually kind of like a little story time. So back in like August I think I got a DM on Instagram from Polydor Records as in Billie Eilish's record label and they were like we've seen your stuff on TikTok and we like love your videos and how would you feel about basically doing social media and making TikToks for celebrities and coming on tour with Holly Humberstone and like basically being paid to be friends with her and hang out and film TikToks together. And I was like, hmm, let me think about that. So over the next like couple months, there was like, you know, a bunch of email and Zoom calls and meetings and all that kind of stuff. And I was so freaking excited. I was like, this is too damn good to be true. And yes, it was because after all of this, after so many months of being so excited about this, they basically said that actually they'd already hired someone before they'd even messaged me in the first place and that I was basically now just like their backup. I was so freaking sad. I literally cried for like three days. But that's the thing is that I kind of like accepted that it was gone. Like I actually kind of like let go of the idea of it entirely. But then I was thinking about it a few weeks ago and I was like, they never actually said no. Like. I am still their backup. Like anything could happen for me to get that opportunity back. You know what I mean? Like maybe this other girl gets a new job somewhere else or she like can't travel at some point for some reason. Like, I don't know, but you know what I mean? Like anything could happen and I could just like suddenly get that opportunity back. And so like, why not manifest that that happens? Or even if it's not like specifically this exact opportunity, like even just the fact that I almost got that opportunity in the first place, like the fact that they even noticed who I was and like reached out to me, that could happen again with like a different record label or a different company, you know what I mean? Like it sort of just represents getting bigger opportunities past just like YouTube. So yeah, that's basically what that is. And then down to the last little corner, I don't know, a cluster of random things. This was like the last corner that I did, which is why it's kind of not got a theme. So we've got just like good grades at uni and like a still from the road trip video that I did with my sister last year, just because like the vibe of last summer was just so good. And like that road trip specifically was just like a highlight of my entire life. We're planning to go on another road trip this year. So I will definitely make a part two to that video if we do. And then the last three things are just things that I want to buy this year. So the bag, this actually goes back into the Polydor Records kind of story time thing. Because back when I thought that was actually going to happen, then I was like, oh my god, I'm going to need like luggage, obviously, to go on tour with because like right now, I don't know, I just don't have any good luggage. And so I found this Gucci duffel bag and I was so obsessed with it. So if that opportunity comes back or anything similar where I'm going to need to travel a lot, that is my dream luggage to have for that. And then under that, we've got this pair of Gucci boots because obviously I don't have enough pairs of Gucci shoes already, but these are boots, so these are different. So it doesn't count. They have been sitting in my basket on Depop for like months. I'm tempted, but like I haven't, you know, pulled the trigger on that just yet. And then last but not least is the, this thing, this thing that says that you're exactly where you need to be in that style that I freaking love. Like there are so many different like quote design things I always see of these on Pinterest. But the reason that this one is on it specifically is because yesterday I was on the train and there was a girl who had this as a phone case and I was so obsessed with it. So I Googled it and it's a clear phone case or at least like the version that I would want is a clear phone case. But the thing is that I currently have a black phone and I was like, I just don't think it would look good on a black phone. But then I remember that I'm actually pretty sure I'm supposed to get like an upgrade on my phone this year, like get a new phone. And so now my plan is to keep this phone case as like my first year phone case, keep it until summer. And then when I get a new phone in summer, I will get a white phone and then either buy the phone case or ask for it for my birthday. So there you go, that is my entire vision board, I think. I might have missed something, I don't know. But it was very fun to make, so I recommend that you make your own one and set it as your background. And 
back to the actual video. Step three, the good old classic, pretend that you're in a rom-com makeover montage scene glow up. Like I feel like this is everyone's like obvious starting point, which makes sense because you want the way you look to represent the way you feel. Like, I don't know about you, but like my confidence completely depends on like how I feel about how I look that day. Like one of my favorite quotes is, if my outfit changes the way that I walk, then I know I'm in something perfect. So this can be like as subtle or as dramatic of a makeover as you want. Like obviously if you love everything about the way that you look now, you don't need to go and like chop off your hair just to feel like you're making a big change. You can literally just stick with like painting your nails just to feel a bit fresher, you know? But if you are open to the idea of it, I do feel like making a bigger change does make it feel more like you're stepping into this new season, this new era of your life. Like you could dye your hair or get a tattoo or you could just like try a bunch of new makeup looks or just buy a bunch of new clothes in a new style, which charity shops and like online thrift stores like Depop and Vinted are really good for this, especially for like if you're completely changing your style because it's a good way to just like get a bunch of clothes for really cheap, but in a much more sustainable way than like buying from fast fashion brands, just a thought. Traits and hobbies. I know this one doesn't seem as fun as like a full on like makeover, but once you get into it, you realize that it's actually like the proper like meat of it. Like this was my problem for a while. I used to kind of subconsciously think that if I like dressed as and like wore the same outfits as I did when I was 16, then I would just like automatically become that version of myself again. But shockingly, <laughs> that's not quite how it works. No, you've got to like start this from the root. Like obviously you can like, again take parts of your past self to like reintegrate into this new version of yourself so instead of like trying to pick up five new hobbies as a complete beginner you can like just bring back old ones that you kind of gave up on for example i learned to crochet when i was like nine and i probably haven't done it since then but then i randomly like picked it up again recently and it's now my absolute favorite thing i literally spend every spare minute that I have crocheting. But then I'd also love to start like sewing again and reading like poetry books again and doing yoga every day. So we'll see, I might make that one of my new habits for this new version of myself. But then this part isn't just about hobbies and like how you spend your days. This is also about like what you are like, like what traits do you wish that you had? Like, do you wish that you were more confident or a better friend or ate healthier or was doing better at school? Like whatever it is, write it down either like as a bullet point list or this is a more fun way to do it. That's also a manifestation technique. And that is to write like a fake diary entry, but like from the perspective of the version of yourself that you want to be. Like what time would the ideal version of yourself wake up and what would they have for breakfast and what would they spend their day doing and what people would they surround themselves with and how would they feel throughout the day? Like, I don't know, anything. Like just visualize and write it down in as much detail as possible as if it was real. Step five is to start over with a clean, space like you could even go as far as like moving all your furniture around and like completely redecorating your room to match your new vibe but either way just have like a proper reset clean like get rid of anything that you don't use and like clothes that you don't wear like just make sure everything in your room has a place and like this isn't even necessarily about like literally having a clean and tidy room like i'm not trying to sound like your mother but it's more about like the mental reset that comes with like having a clean slate, you know? So my camera battery died and then the sun set, so it's actually a completely different day, but I'm wearing the same outfit, so you can't even tell. You have no idea that it's a different day right now. So last but not least, step number, whatever the hell number we were at, is that now you have designed and become this new version of yourself. You obviously now need to just go out and live as that version, but most importantly, you need to document it. Because the whole point of this is that this isn't going to be like the final form of yourself because that doesn't really exist. And you know, you're going to be back here in a week or a month or three years from now going back through all of these steps to create the next version after that and the next one after that. And before you know it, you'll have completely forgotten this version of yourself. And so you need to make the memories before it's too late. That was really deep. So obviously you can do this in whatever way that means for you. You can just like be boring and take photos. If you are gonna do that, you could at least like spice it up a little bit, like get a little film camera like this and you can like print them out and like make a little photo album, stuff like that. Or you could make videos, even if it's not to post, literally just like, I don't know, get one of those like VHS recorder tip, like, camcorder things or even like those instagram accounts that i've seen people doing where like you literally just have it on private and like you don't let anyone follow you and you don't follow anyone else and you just like post on that instagram account like as if it's a diary and like only you can see it and you like post photos with like you know the diary entry like in the caption i always think those look cool but i don't know i don't have like the effort for that but saying that my favorite way to document the different eras of my life is with diaries i have literally been keeping diaries since i was 14. i have got one two 
three, four, five, six. I am currently on my 16th diary. Like I have got 15 full books of memories and this is just from like last five years. Obviously you might be put off thinking like, oh, it's such like a childish thing to do. It is so fun. It is so fun. Like once you've made a habit of it, it sticks and it's literally like, you'll be so glad like a few years from now when you have all of these books to look back on, especially because I have always illustrated my diaries because I was always obsessed with like dark diaries and diary of a wimpy kid. And so I've always like drawn little doodles in them, like in that kind of style. And like, I'll even write like titles for them. Like once they're full, I will like look back and like read through it and then like give it a title based on like the general theme of that time in my life. And you can include like shopping lists and to-do lists and like songs that you're listening to at the time and the book that you're currently reading, like things that at the time seem so irrelevant but like when you look back on them they'll be so nostalgic and i don't know it's just my favorite way to do it and my favorite thing to look back on and i'm probably gonna write them for the rest of my life <laughs> so i hope you enjoyed this video and hope you got something from it and subscribe if you want to stick around for the rest of the series because obviously this is only episode one of this little mini series that i'm doing where the rest of the episodes is basically showing you guys me going through all of these steps to become the next version of myself so then you can feel like you're not doing it by yourself and we're doing it together so i think that's everything i hope you enjoyed and i will see you guys in episode two